All right, let's try this. We're going to our live here at the Shooting Academy in Scarborough for Timmy's birthday. It's live from last week. Episode 163. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, getting up this morning after sleeping less than six hours for the second day in a row, I made the trek to Blue Mountain this morning to use my 5x7 pass for the second time this season. Going with my coworker, with whom we've snowboarded with last year and several times in the past. Checking out the slopes with Allison with her snowboarding and me skiing this time. Allison, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I was also able to take a couple of action shots of us enjoying the hills today. Slushy, slushy, slushy. As well as other POV videos of us going down the mountain. Allison. And afterwards, when our session was done, with us feeling pretty tired and sore from all the exercise that we got in today, we did our tradition of going to the downtown Collingwood Domino's, ordering some post-skiing pizza, and chowing down on some Hawaiian slices in the car. And although I had a lot of fun going to Blue Mountain for this session today, unfortunately, I didn't get enough footage to make a snowboarding slash skiing music video. So in lieu of that, we have a quick music video for you guys of the session that the sister and I went on this past weekend. Our first snowboarding session of 2024. <laughs> to this evening we just have quick birthday greetings to the former owner of and the one who had trusted me with their baby mini this birthday shout out goes out to you dustin happy birthday dustin we've also got a birthday greeting to one of my american friends out there who i know through the smi away this birthday shout out goes out to you kimberly happy birthday kim and last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends of whom I can't wait to reunite with this summer on the beaches of Ash Bridges. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Axer. Feliz cumpleaños, Axer. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, from all the activity tiring me out yesterday, I was able to get in a half decent sleep last night before staying in today editing live from last week episode 162 which is probably the longest live from last week episode to date having spent three or so days just editing this baby anyways with it being the end of the month and me still wanting to complete this new year's 2024 goal before the month of january was done i went into my closet full of clothes Going through it, picking out a couple pieces of clothing, some that don't really fit me no more, 
getting them ready for donation, going to my local Scarborough Value Village, and placing them in the donation bin. But guys, recalling how last week the Mini Cooper had suffered a flat tire, and how I ordered two new replacement tires a week ago now, this evening I called up the shop to follow up to see if they had my tires in, and they let me know that my tires would still need another 10 business days for them to be shipped. So, the associate offered me the possibility of ordering and purchasing a little bit more expensive set of tires that would have same-day delivery and get into the shop by tomorrow. But, I will receive a follow-up phone call tomorrow morning just to make sure I want to make that purchase of an extra $120 for the upgraded set of tires. And guys, to be honest, I'm just a little bit upset. And if I didn't call them today, who knows how long it would have taken them to let me know that my tires would come in three weeks after I had originally ordered them. So, if I didn't already tell y'all, but I actually walked the hour-long trek in the cold just to get to Value Village earlier. But guys, on the bright side, one good thing came out of this. With me achieving my 10,000 steps goal for the day, as well as being able to order some too good to go, picking up some dinner at one of the spots that I frequent here in Scarborough, getting some Tag Puan. And guys, just before I wrap it up for the day, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my buddies out there who I actually went snowboarding with on his birthday a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Cody. Happy birthday, Codester. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So first of all, I want to welcome y'all to a new month. Happy February, guys! But to start off, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who I've played alongside with for many years now, and who I last saw at the Halloween beach party last year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. We've also got a birthday greeting to a buddy of mine who has made a cameo in the previous Laugh From Last Week episode and whose website, Karma Tickets, I always buy tickets from for all my events. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jagger. Happy birthday, Jagger. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to one of my nieces out there who is one of the best players I've ever seen play the game of Bong Chingoy. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Candice. Happy birthday, Candice. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, now on to today, where I got a follow-up phone call from the great customer service at Tire Huts, the shop who I was trying to coordinate all my tire issues with, of whom graciously let me know that after all their hard work on trying to coordinate things after my phone call last night, told me that my new tires were in the shop and were ready to be installed. So happily going down to see the Mini with our parking garage neighbor's new car, which I last saw when I went with the sister to say hi to the Mini over the weekend. I looked at my car's flat tire for one last time, giving it a final thumbs down before taking the baby mini to Tire Hut for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode, getting my new tires on and rotated, and having the job done coming out of the garage in literally less than 10 minutes. So thanks again to the quick and efficient work by the guys here at Tire Hut, of which I'll definitely be posting a positive review for them on their website. Anyways, taking the baby mini out to the mall with her brand new tires on now and motivated by the fact that yesterday I got more than 10,000 steps in. I'm currently here at the Scarborough Town Center before I go in for my shift later on to try to get in another 10,000 steps before I go into work. So I went inside the mall to enjoy all the beautiful displays here while walking and walking and walking some more, even going into the local IKEA city for the first time in a while, tracking that it takes me about 800 of my steps to loop around the map, and about 8 minutes for a full loop, also walking and walking and la-di-da walking, 
and doing some more walking until I reached my goal of achieving 10,000 steps before my night shift. But yeah guys, it's time to take the mini back home with its new fresh set of tires. Go in for my first of a scheduled two night shifts tonight and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So today, Groundhog Day, after getting a decent post night shift nap in, I found out that Warrington Willie had not seen its shadow signifying an early spring. Anyways, just chilling at home in the middle of my two night shifts today and opening up to look at and enjoy all the Tagpuan takeout food yesterday that I got a couple days back. We just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my childhood neighbors who I used to go out and play road hockey with after school when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Keegan. Happy birthday, Keegan. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my university friends of whom when I last visited them not too long ago, thought I was a mail delivery person delivering them some mail. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Timmy. Happy birthday, Timmy. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Firstly, today I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins in the Philippines who, with their post-workout progress photos, inspire me to work out every single day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Archie. Happy birthday, Archie. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my university friends of whom I randomly bumped into in October when they were about to do the Toronto Waterfront Marathon. This birthday shout out goes out to you Alyssa. Happy birthday Alyssa. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, after catching a beautiful sunset in the evening before my night shift last night, which seemed like the only thing that was actually beautiful from the night, as this morning I was wondering what exactly had happened to make me so non-stop busy from my shift that night. Anyways, after going home and getting a less than two hour post night shift nap, I was able to open up my eyes excited enough to get my gear on, going out just like we did last week and completing another one of my 2024 New Year's goals, going to Ashbridge's Bay to play some outdoor winter beach volleyball earlier this afternoon. So guys, after that fun session once again earlier today, instead of the Tesla carpools that we did last weekend, this week we returned to our original mini carpools. This week we have a carpool, this time in the mini with Maria! <laughs> but even after doing our beach volleyball activities today, for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode, I went to the local Mississauga Planet Fitness to do my daily push-ups and stand-up sit-ups workout before buying some beer here at the beer store, going to the Saga home to be attacked by the one, the only pup named Sesame before trying to share a beer with the father-in-law. But guys, after he was nowhere to be seen, 
Oh, working a job during his busy weekend? I left a rain check of having a beer with him over at the Saga House before going to the local St. Martin of Tours church for their Saturday Vigil Mass. And after going to the store to get some flowers and gifts for the wife's arrival from Puerto Rico, I went to the Pearson International Airport Express pickup area, which I recently found out gives you free parking for about 18 minutes in this garage. A free parking hack of which you can get the parking passes in the link in the description below. Bringing these gifts for the wife's pickup at the airport. Eventually finding her and surprising her with, well, this surprise. Surprise! <laughs> Welcome back to Canada! <laughs> Here, hold it! Okay. Wow! Wow! Yes, we I'll go over there. <laughs> Anyways, as a ritual of what we usually do after coming home from the airport, we went to this busy restaurant on a Saturday night. The one and only perfect Chinese restaurant in Scarborough. For the wife and I to have this amazing feast to welcome her back to Canada after being away traveling for the past two weeks. Although getting minimal sleep yesterday post shift and trying to catch up on it last night. Unfortunately, my body just wouldn't stay asleep this morning. Automatically waking me up after I got my minimum of around six hours of sleep. So I spent the early morning just editing some live from last week footage in the dark before making plans to go with the wife to the local Thai restaurant, Chatu Jack, to have obviously some delicious Thai food here and meet up with a couple of friends to celebrate my buddy Timmy's birthday. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Happy birthday! Oh, Don't lose it! <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Timmy! Happy birthday to you! Woo! Are you one? Are you two? Are... <laughs> Look at that lucky! Yay! Yay. <laughs> and after taking a nice picture of all of us enjoying the birthday lunch earlier today to continue on with our celebrations and learn yet another new skill for 2024 we headed to the nearby scarborough's shooting academy to learn how to handle and shoot a gun for my first time So guys, after that fun session there at the shooting range earlier, we made some of these great memories. Just take off its elbow. That's a great shot. You right in, yeah, right in, right between, in between. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. That's good. Yeah. Did you see that one? Oh, yeah. nice. nice. Did you get it? Oh my gosh! Sick. Did you get it? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh. 
Because it's so good. Uh, yeah! Oh, I, I got that. it. Ow! Oh yeah, I just saw it from that. That's why I say you guys. I know. <laughs> who who shot that? Who shot that? It came from the rubber. It came back at you from the rubber. I didn't shoot it though. Oh, maybe green. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is it red? Okay. Why, why it it it's, it's starting to get red. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I saw something go boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I found out a hidden talent about my wife that I didn't know about before. That she's actually a pretty decent sniper. One more for you, Dave. Oh. <laughs> and that I should never ever mess with her based on her accurate shooting skills. So, starting off today, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my study buddies from our days back at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carla. Happy birthday, Carla. Next up, a birthday greeting to another friend of mine who I used to go clubbing with during their university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made during our Euro trip to World Youth Day in 2011, back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Naomi. Happy birthday, Naomi. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But now, on to this morning, after getting yet another less than six hours of sleep in, I was able to miraculously pass out four another couple of hours getting these new green stars on my sleep record signifying that i actually got enough sleep for a normal person so this afternoon with a new sense of energy i decided to go to my local post office for the first time in a while to send off a gift to a buddy of mine who is an absolute huge UFC fan. Sending him an autographed photo of UFC legend Frankie Edgar that I got when I met him a couple weeks back. And guys, while still feeling pretty good, I may have saw my latest Facebook Marketplace purchase. Of which I'll reveal to you with this little clue that I took in the car. But we'll save the full reveal for you guys for next week's episode but yeah before i go in for a one single night shift tonight we will just wrap up this week's episode right here so if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching feel free to follow jay walker pov on twitter instagram facebook and youtube be sure to like and share this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from jay walker pov come out and once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.